Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick check of your forecast into around the rest of the Mid-South. We've managed to stay dry throughout the latter half of the weekend. Unfortunately, keep the umbrellas handy because over the next couple of days, yes, here it comes again. We're going to be looking for more possibilities of showers and quite possibly some thunderstorms and quite possibly some heavy rain and just keep getting more and more good news here. We're going to be looking for that potential of, again, maybe the possibility of some severe weather in there as well. So yet again, another pretty soggy week coming up as we have about two weeks left of wintertime. We're almost ready for the official start of springtime, but it's going to take a while to get there, and it looks like it's going to take us even longer to actually dry out. Unfortunately, also, we could be looking for the possibility of maybe some areas of more flooding happening in portions of the area, not huge amounts. We've already got the Mississippi River very high. It's dropping, but we may see again the possibility of again uh, maybe some more rising waterways out there, and that could cause some problems for commutes across the area. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at that forecast heading into the rest of this week. Some kids have spring break off. A lot don't. We'll take a look at the school day forecast. We'll take a look at some of your weather pictures that you sent in over the last couple of days from storms to a little bit of sunshine, and thanks to everybody for sending those pictures in. Got questions about the forecast? Ask them, drop it in the comments section, and also any reports across the area that you've got. Temperature, wind speed, rainfall amounts, cloud cover, what it feels like out there. City, state, location in general, just let us know where you are and drop that into the comments section, and I'll read off as many of them as I can into the comments as we see them go along. So again, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Again, more information, if you want to check out the forecast in detail, go to our website, wreg.com slash weather for more on our exclusive 7 to 10 day forecast, all available there. Into tomorrow morning, again, temperatures will be dropping briefly onto the cooler side of the lower to mid 40s. Could be a chance of sprinkles late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But again, most of that should take at least a brief pause for most of the area. We're not talking about a lot here, but we are seeing, again, the potential of some more rain showers coming up tomorrow by just a little bit. And then mainly just cloud cover out there. But some of you south of I-40 might see some more scattered showers throughout the rest of the morning. So if you're going anywhere south of Memphis in the metro area, would see, again, the possibility of maybe keeping that out there for now. Uh, some reports here coming in on the comments section about power out in Midtown. We've been tracking those. MLGW uh, is working on that, so hopefully we'll get everybody uh, charged up and ready to go here pretty soon. Senatobia, Margie Casey, 58 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report out there and everybody else uh, at this point in time. Sabrina Millerman, yes, welcome from Wolfgang Bakery, and thank you for the excellent job that you did on uh, Marlo T. Shorky. She looks a lot better and feels a lot better, so thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else, thanks a lot for dropping on by for right now and keeping an eye on the weather. 62, spot on normal for today. This is exactly where we should have been for this time of the year, just above normal for the low temperatures. Record high of 82. We may not be too far away from that in the near future. No rainfall officially today. We're still five inches above normal, so definitely some good news on that. Solid overcast across I-40 and Witten Road, looking back toward downtown Memphis out on the horizon and back towards Sycamore View and I-40 this evening. Dry traffic is moving along quite nicely. A little bit thick for a Sunday night, but otherwise not doing too bad out there. Likewise, from Baptist to Soto Camera, I-55 and Goodman Road, everything moving along, but again, pretty solid overcast out there. We do have a little bit more moisture on the way tonight. It's not much. It's coming in from the Pacific, actually. Nice little atmospheric river giving us a few sprinkles from the area around the Rio Grande through the Red River and back into the Mid-South. We're also getting a lot of cloud cover out there as well as all that sweeps its way back up this direction. What we've got into around portions of southeast Missouri and eastern Arkansas, it's not that much at this point. A lot of what you're looking at here, rain several thousand feet up, dried down toward the surface, so a lot of this is actually, as it falls, evaporating because the air, dry air is just tearing it apart. Now, you may see a few raindrops in the darker shaded green out there, but we're just not getting a lot of any problems with rainfall. Maybe some more scattered showers, heavier as you go back toward Little Rock, northwest of Jonesboro, back up towards, say, Ravenden Springs, Mammoth Springs, and south of the Arkansas-Missouri state line. But beyond that, not much of anything else. Too warm for anything but rain. 
temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s out there for tonight. So again, a decently cool evening across much of the Mid-South area. Uh, welcoming my wife, Melissa Onik, joining us from House Onik with, again, Marlo Shorky probably in tow there uh, for this evening as well. Judy Thorpe, Brighton, sunshine at sunset, then the clouds came in. Yeah, it wasn't a great evening for sunsets across the Mid-South area. Uh, O'Neill Byram Sr., 55 in, I hope I'm saying this right, Maidon, Tennessee. I always have a chance to mispronounce a few names out there, so hopefully that's decently correct. So thanks for joining us there. Uh, Michael Soward, if you're just joining us and want to know where we are, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, East Arkansas, Southern Missouri with Memphis and Shelby County right there in the middle. So uh, thanks for joining us at this point in time. Jeff McKelva, rain in Munford tomorrow, a lot of concrete ordered. Uh, right now, what we're looking at for tomorrow is going to be mainly light scattered showers, and mainly south of I-40 is where we're going to be picking up most of the rainfall out there, as we see better chances of that throughout the rest of the morning. Heading to work or school, if you have that, if you don't have spring break this week, again, better chances of rain south of I-40 drizzles and some rain showers north of I-40 and then for most of the rest of the day light activity north of I-40 heavier concentrations of rain down to the south of there not a washout but once again there'll be chances of showers around and about just showers not expecting much of anything else out there across the area as we go throughout the rest of the day so again keep the umbrella and the windshield wipers handy and or ready to go. So that could be a bit of a situation there. Clearing out again as we go toward dinner time and early evening on Monday, and then we should see again some fairly dry conditions briefly Monday evening before coming back to some more showers, and then the main chances of rain start up as we go into the later portion of this week. So tomorrow, spotty showers out there at best. We're just not picking up a lot of major activity as for right now. Again, very much on the mild side, a little cooler than today. The clouds and the rain will block out some of that sunshine and keep it a little uh, cooler out there for the time being. Back in the 60s again for Tuesday, that's normal for this time of the year. And scattered showers possible, not great chances. Again, about 30% coverage chance, so not a lot out there. The big surge in temperatures comes up this Wednesday. Numbers back in the mid, possibly the upper 70s, pushing 80 degrees in parts of Mississippi and southern Arkansas. And better chances of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday evening into around portions of the area for Thursday. Not anything on the boards just yet, but some talk about the possibility of severe weather Wednesday night into Thursday, so we'll be watching that again very carefully out there uh, as we head into midweek. And again, could be in some areas, mainly across northeast Mississippi, the Tennessee River Valley, we could be looking at another two to four inches of rainfall across portions of the area. Now the good news is, again, we'll be drying out toward next weekend, the last weekend of winter, and by St. Patrick's Day next weekend, Decently cool, but at least it will be dry, so we'll kind of wring things out by just a little bit. Unfortunately, the bad news is we got to go through a decently soggy trip to get there for right now at this time. Paul at Morrow, 52 in New Bern, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Debbie Pounder Starkey, where is our snow? Not happening anytime soon from what it looks like around here for right now, so decently on the quiet side and no winter up there for the time being. Joe Craig Sanders, blizzard on the way to Alliance, Nebraska on Wednesday. Yeah, my mom up in Topeka, Kansas was bemoaning the fact of some more winter weather uh, up that direction. So again, very much on the colder side there. We'll be turning cooler after the middle part of the week. That for us is going to be the extent of even close to winter weather out there. We might make it down toward about freezing on St. Patrick's Day morning next Sunday, but again, beyond that, doesn't really look too bad out there for the temperatures for right now as we approach the change in seasons. Talking about the environment, it's one of our new blogs out there, and if you'd like to take a look at our just produced and released uh, edition for this week, it's ready to go right now at wreg.com slash weather. I started this uh, effort about 27 years ago at KTKA in Topeka, Kansas, about recycling, the environment, conservation efforts, cleanup efforts, all kinds of stuff like that. And you can help out if you've got anything out there to talk about. Please let me know. It's called Your Environment. It's ready right now. It's about nine, ten minutes of environmental information. This week, we take a look at 
the rainforest and why it's so important to make certain that they are protected and cleaned up as well. Other one is available right now at WRAG.com, also on iTunes and Spotify. It's called Tornado Alert Emotional Terror. Tim and Jim take a look at weather behind the scenes when we're doing weather to help you stay safe during severe weather. So if you'd like to know more about it from this side of the camera, a good opportunity to listen. It's not that long. It's a good opportunity to tune in. Uh, I've understood that iTunes is apparently having some hiccups with it, so your best bet would go to either Spotify or WREG.com if you'd like to know more about that. And again, we'll be letting you know about this for a while to come. Hopefully, again, more podcasts on this topic and weather-related stuff in general coming up. We'll let you know if that's the case later on. Skywarn, your opportunity to get ready for severe weather. The next one is t uh, Tuesday evening in Mississippi County, Arkansas, in Blytheville at Arkansas Northeastern College, 6.30 p.m., totally free, paid for by your tax dollars and my tax dollars, and there's more of them coming up later on this week across the Mid-South. The one for Memphis is not for a couple of weeks, but it will be announcing that, you can be certain, so stay tuned for more on that. Again, these are about an hour, hour and a half. You show up, you take the course, you learn more about severe weather, easy, done, and you're ready to go for severe weather season. Taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis, it's called Skywarn. You become a volunteer spotter, you become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service. Your opportunity to make the Mid-South a better place, again, when it comes to severe weather, is right here. This is a spotter course, not a chase course. Again, you have to learn that from experts. We need more spotters out there. We need more chasers that know what they're doing, that's for certain, but we need more spotters out there more than anything else. Would like to know more? All you have to do is go to the National Weather Service website, weather.gov slash MEG or weather.gov and just click on the area of the country where the map is located and it'll take you to this website address. Click on the headline at the top and it'll show you all the locations, the exact addresses of where you need to go to. So again, a good opportunity to learn more about that there. All right, weather pictures. Had a couple of pictures of fire ant rafts being uh, captured around West Memphis, Arkansas. Uh, this one from Missy K. Wilkerson around the farm uh, while she was rescuing some of the farm animals from the flooding going on. She caught another edition of the fire ants rafting together. Really interesting to see how nature works in this case to be able to get the survival instinct going. So kind of neat to be able to see that there. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Ronnie P. Shapley from Olive Branch. Some pretty decent pictures out there. Some severe hail of one inch size. And that, again, is where the National Weather Service can issue a severe thunderstorm warning. One of the criteria is, again, large hail. And that counts as large hail. So thank you very much for that one from Olive Branch. Peggy Moffitt uh, from last night, clearing up at least a little bit from Bethel Springs, Tennessee, as the sun lights up the eastern side of those thunderstorms passing away back into portions of northwestern Alabama and the Tennessee River. Thank you for that one. And DC Service Solutions, nice view of some of the quarter-sized hail around Olive Branch yesterday morning. So thank you very much for that one. If you've got weather pictures like these guys did, send them to us. Facebook, tweet them, or post them on my Instagram page, link to them, or just email them to me. And again, you can send them on again at austin.onic at wreg.com. Okay, for tomorrow, again, some classes are in session, and there will be the chance of rainfall out across the Area 4 right now. So we should see, again, uh, the possibility of a few sprinkles out there if the kids are heading to school. If we got spring break off, indoors might be a little better than outdoors, but this will be about the lightest amount of rain that we pick up for the rest of the week. So if you're going outdoors to get some fresh air, you might have to duck and dive a few raindrops out there. We'll keep you updated on the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., a.m. 730 and 1600. Talk back live, and if you can't get them on air because you're out of the viewing area, online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Coming up in just about a half an hour's time, join me for our late edition of Weather Overtime, where we take a look at weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving overseas, we'll take a look at some select areas around the world. Uh, can't feature everybody, but we can do at least a few to say thank you very much for wearing the uniform. Temperatures back in the 30s. 40s rain snow mix just above freezing in Kabul in Afghanistan about an hour before sunrise. So 
a little colder over that direction. So we'll talk more about that coming up here in just about, say, half an hour or so. So join me on my Periscope Twitter and my own Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Rest of the evening, again, chances of rain well above freezing, temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s. So again, a little bit of some sprinkles, but not expecting too much, at least just yet. Later on, that could be a much different story out there. Give me a, a shout if there's something on here you'd like to see, austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to be able to get you in a little bit more on this, more satellite, more climate data, uh, more environmental stuff, anything like that, please let me know, and I'd be glad to add it to the list so we can show you a little bit more about what's going on out there. I'll have more coming up tonight for the latest forecast update on News Channel 3 at 10 following the Aretha Franklin tribute. And, of course, Todd Demers will be back here bright and early Monday morning at 4.30 so he can get you going on News Channel 3 Daybreak along with Corey Ventura who will help you travel across the metro area and beyond with time saver traffic. So stay tuned for more on there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik at the WREG studios in downtown. And we'll talk more about the forecast again tonight at 10. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend and all of next week with News Channel 3.